Hello students, so welcome to the next lesson in our A-level economics course. Today we're going to be looking at the invisible hand. What is the invisible hand? The invisible hand is a concept that explains the force which drives a market to operate. It is the way in which markets naturally are going to allocate resources based on the self-interest of the economic agent. It's naturally going to separate the cans and the cans of the society. So I'm going to show now with a little animation which shows what the invisible hand is going to do to an economic agent which allows a market to operate. So let's imagine there are two sellers in a market. We have shop one and shop number two. Now we'll put an economic agent or a consumer into this equation. So which shop is the economic agent going to buy from? Well, which way you buy it from? Let's say you have five pounds and you need to buy from one of these shops. You're going to go to the shop, which is going to give you the best quality good for the cheapest price. So shop one says five pounds. I can, you know, I can sell you goods here for five pounds. And that's exactly what the um, consumer is going to need. The consumer is going to want to go to shop one to buy from that shop because it fits their demands. However, shop two says they're going to sell the same product, but for four pounds. So the consumer is going to then want to move over to shop two because it's a better deal for them and they're going to be able to save money, which is in their self-interest. However, shop one then says, we're going to give you free drinks. Now, this is going to give the economic agent of the consumer an incentive to then want to go and buy from shop one. So again, naturally, they're going to move over to shop one. And this is how the market then operates. It's a way to move the allocation of resources bit by bit in order to sell they're going to have to manipulate the self-interest of the consumer which are going to want to have the best deal for them and this is the sole basis of how markets are going to operate this has been the end of the lesson if you need any more help visit revisealevel.co.uk or you can check out the channel next lesson will be on the market mechanism until next time i'll see you then